Yes, sir. So today I'll give the important question for the transformation generator. So these are the question and I'll just go with the one by one. So in this case, uh, first one, uh, so define transformer and explain the operations of transformer and explain the types of transformer. I just give the brief introductions about uh, this uh, first question. So normally transformer can be defined as a, so transformer is a static device, so which converts from one alternating current circuit to another alternating current with a changing voltage and current, but frequency is constant. So how to write definition very neatly. So as for the general definition and welcome to the working principle of uh, transformer. So transformer is works on the principle of mutual induction. So that the transformer consisting of either the two winding, primary winding and secondary winding can be called as a primary it consisting of a number of tons of N1 and for the secondary consisting of a N2 number of tons. And primary winding is connected to the AC supply and secondary winding is connected to the load side. So for the primary winding, I just give the energy or AC supply to the primary winding. That primary is receives the AC supply and creates a magnetical flux. That magnetical flux transfers to the a common magnetical path through the secondary winding and these flux are inter in these flux are interactions with the secondary winding and due to the Faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction whenever the magnetical flux are cut by the conductor that time EMF is induced. So that in this case so number of conductor and magnetical flux are cut so that EMF is generated that can be called as a E2 EMF nothing but a secondary EMF on the LTV and same magnetical flux passing through the primary also in the primary also the number of conductors we having a n1 and due to the passing through the magnetical flux to the primary winding also that primary induce emf field induces that is nothing but a e1 and comparisons of the other machines and the transformer transformer is a static device so that the efficiency is very less is compared to other type of machine and while coming to the types of transformer so types of transformers we having a so we having a generally core type and shell type so for the core type having a, a single magnetical circuit and core is a rectangular shape with a, having a two link so in this case the most of the winding encircle the core agirate and normally core type core type of transformer it having a the coils like a cylindrical type and wound on the helical layer so the, the core is made up of a large number of lamination and the winding is uni the winding are generally uniformly distributed so that the natural cooling is more than ever enough. So normally you bury back the core type is to point but the and don't write uh, lengthy a type you just write the point wise you may get the full marks. So, well coming to the uh, this is general uh, core type uh, diagram. And while coming to the shell type, so this is the shell type uh, diagram. In the shell type, so there are the two magnetical circuits we have and it contains a three limbs. So both the windings are placed in the central limb and the coils are generally having a multi-disc type or we can also call it as a so sandwich type of coil and so due to the uh, most of the core is encircle the winding so that for the shell type there will be no natural cooling is enough so we require the uh, other additional cooling so that we are going to forcibly we are going to cool the shell type transformer and while coming to the uh, comparisons while coming to the comparisons so comparisons also important if you know the uh, key point of the core and shell type it is very easy to compare the this two point yeah while coming to the first point the winding encircle the core and the core is encircle the most part of the winding and it contains a cylindrical type of coil and it contains a multi-layer type and I mentioned that it is a sandwich coil type. So and the coil is winding distributed naturally so that natural cooling is more effective but these coils are it is not it is not distributed uniformly because of uh, the center limb it contains uh, both the primary and secondary winding so that it is a required additional force cooling method. And due to the maintenance point of view, core type it is very easy, but shell type it is very difficult because core type contains a two limb and shell type contains a three limb. And core type having a, a single magnetical circuit, but shell type having a 
a two magnetical circuit so this is a uh, so this is more uh, enough for the question for the answering of uh, what uh, define transformer as well as uh, explain the operations and uh, types of transformer next uh, well coming to the derive the emf equation of transformer so this uh, derive the emf equation of transformer repeated in many a times in the previous question paper so that please focus on the emf equation so emf equation yeah so first emf equation first we define the waveform right neatly waveform na first need to know that there is some predetermined assumption to know that what exactly predetermined means n1 and n2 number of tons of primary n2 number of tons of secondary so pi m maximum flux density and f frequency so first write the diagram write the waveform for the writing the waveform you have to mention the specification and for the specification we read the we write the assumption after that uh, by knowing the general equation that is average rate of change of flux nothing but a d pi by dt so from this d pi we can consider as a pi m and for dt we consider as a 1 by 4 4 of frequency so from this you can look at the waveform so for the changing frequency so for the changing flux uh, we are going to consider as a maximum flux that is nothing but a 0 to pi m i just consider as a pi m and for the changing maximum flux what is the time required that is 0 to 1 by 4 f that is f nothing but a frequency and we do the a general balance of mathematics so just we get the 4 pi 4 pi and f so according to the faraday's law so as we know that average rate of change of flux is equal to the average induced emf per ton so average EMF, emf induced per ton is nothing but a we previously defined that that is nothing but a four frequency and maximum flux so from this again we have to define the form factor so form factor we already know that that is rms value divided by average value so from this we require the rms value so keep it as the rms value as it is and multiply the form factor value of nothing but a 1.11 so and we have know the average emf induced emf you just multiply the 1.11 and with respect to the four frequency and maximum flux you may get the value 4.44 frequency and maximum flux so for this again we require the number of primary turns and number of secondary turns so that for the equation number one the rms value of the emf induced in the primary winding we are going to add the number of turns that is n1 nothing but a primary number of turns so that we induces the primary induced emf e1 e1 is equal to 4.44 frequency maximum flux and n1 similarly i just write the induced emf for the secondary so for the secondary we having a number of turns of n2 so that is e2 is equal to 4.44 frequency pi m and n2 